Hey guys, it's Jordy from One Degree Higher. Picture this scenario. You land an interview for a job that you desperately want. You're so excited because now an offer is within your grasp. You decide that you're not going to blow this awesome opportunity. You prepare like crazy. You do your research and you get your portfolio in shape. You're ready. The interview comes and you nail it. Dressed in your best business suit, you ask great questions, you demonstrate your ability to generate revenue, and you th how to think creatively and solve problems for the company. You and the interviewer have a great rapport and really hit it off. You leave feeling confident that you are shooing for the position. Just as you're preparing to tell all your buddies the exciting news, the rejection email arrives, explaining that the company decided to go in another direction. Like a left hook to the jaw, you're shocked, you're pissed off and confused, thinking, what in the world just happened here? Maybe you've already had an experience like this one. If not, hold on tight because it's coming. Almost every job hunter usually endures numerous rejections before an offer arrives. This is just the way it goes. Don't worry though, because I'm going to help you do something very few people will ever do. Leverage these near misses into a full-time gig. But first, want to know what most applicants do when they get rejected like this? Nothing. That's right, absolutely nothing. It is a huge mistake, and if you do nothing too, you're guaranteed to increase the number of rejections you're going to have to deal with. So, if you want to speed up the time it takes to land a job, here are some great strategies. Don't lose sight of the fact that you received an interview in the first place. That's a huge accomplishment. Most applicants never even get that far. A hiring manager was initially impressed with you. And if you've impressed one, you're going to impress others. Buy professional note cards and send a well thought out note to each secretary, HR executive, junior executive, department manager, and CEO who interviewed you. Besides being a, a polite, a thank you note will immediately make people take notice. Chances are the person they hire probably won't extend the same courtesy. So maybe your note will make a hiring manager pause for a second and think, hey, did I just hire the wrong person? Don't assume, assume the person who beat you out for the position is going to be a perfect fit. He could be a complete flop. It happens all the time. Someone interviews great and then their performance sucks. Or the person takes the job and immediately quits because it's not the fit he envisioned. What happens then? Do you think the company wants to go through another long hiring process? More resumes, more interviews? No chance. They want a quick and easy fix to this problem. They'll circle back to the runner-ups. When that happens, you want your name to be on the first one that everyone, that everyone mentions. Don't stop after you send the thank you note. You're just getting started. Mark your calendar, communicate with your company contact or contacts twice a month until you land a job. I want you to keep your name fresh so they never forget you. Mix up your communication between email, Twitter, LinkedIn, mail, phone. Nothing formal can be very casual and take just a couple of minutes of your time. Never mention stuff like, hey, can you help me get another job? Are you guys hiring yet? Hey, has it worked out with the, with the new guy? Instead, here are, some th here are three great content ideas. Number one, help your contact solve his problems. Send links to articles, blogs, or other content that you feel could help the company achieve its goals. Number two, congratulate your contact for a promotion or if the company had success. For example, maybe they won a new account or were mentioned in an article or supported a charity. Number three, comment on a Twitter or LinkedIn post. Make sure you're following or connecting to all of the social media efforts. Never come off like a know-it-all or an expert. Take a more casual approach. Here's an example. Hey, Mr. Smith, I thought you'd really appreciate reading this article I just saw on Pepsi's strategy for reaching teenagers. It's really unique stuff. Could some of these ideas help you solve that challenge you mentioned to me about reaching more high school students? Companies often hire in batches, so don't assume they only have one job opening right now. Maybe they plan to hire one person a month for the next six months. 
Department heads communicate often when openings arise, and there's a great chance that your name will get tossed around when other positions open up. Impress your contact and he may recommend you when he hears of other openings at other companies. It happens all the time. Remember, most hiring managers would much rather extend interview invitations to applicants who come recommended from a trusted source than to take a chance on someone from reading a resume alone. So next time you get turned down for a job offer, use these strategies to turn what initially seems like a setback into a great opportunity.